Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard difficulty with Lucky Nation set to historical. Welcome back. We are not that far away from actually revoking the privilege and getting all the members of the Holy Roman Empire as our direct vassals. I'm looking forward to that very much. Um, currently I'm trying to rebuild my army, just trying to get the manpower into the troops. And then we'll sort of try to slowly phase out our mercenaries. At least that's the plan. We're done improving with Styria. Um, yeah, we ease the tension. That's helping us quite a bit. Um, Hesse is still upset. So let's try to improve relations with them. I do have to do a little bit of a diplomacy offensive. Um, right, we could upgrade that one. I'm not sure I want to. I'd rather wait a little bit longer. Um, and in terms of Diplo power, we could actually get rid of some of our alliances. Now, it's going to make us look a little weaker if we do that. Um, especially for enemies considering to attack us, but we do have more relations than we need to. So what could we, what could we get rid of? I think um, getting rid of Münster, Nassau, Klevis and Ravensburg might be the way to go. The others we have to keep. Um, some of them are our our vassals over there. Teutonic the Liberty Desire. I got a lot of development. I guess I have to make these guys into a march as well. Milan. We're gonna lose a little bit of money, but it's gonna be fine. They have a lot of troops. They have a crap ton of troops. Which makes them a useful vassal as long as they really stay um, a vassal <laughs> and without any liberty desire so that's gonna be good our truce with Sweden has ended that's fine um, our truce with these guys will end at some point as well so and they're still allied with Poland and France so if they were to attack me again that might be a thing it might actually be quite a problem now Tuscany yeah, I guess I won't be able to, to get them out um, of the problematic area. Now, this is still a Venetian core, though. So, what about Corsica? No, we don't have any claims on them anymore. That's a bit of a problem here. Um, I don't see any uh, claims of Milan in the area. So, we will have to attack the Papal State. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. We got... Rebels in Venetia, revolutionary rebels. Okay, that's fine. I guess I gotta. I guess I gotta send an army down there. I guess that's okay. We don't need any men now. We're just raking on in the manpower. That's fine. Let's. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind having my emperor die because then a lot of. Um, a lot of royal marriages would break. We won't get any boost to our imperial authority anymore. Um, that would be fine-ish. Um, I haven't set another rival. And I think I will set France. I think I'll set France. These guys have pissed me off enough. So France is our new rival now. It had to, it had to happen. Oh, and Milan is actually reducing its military power. That's pretty good. That's very useful. Yeah, they... They are um, giving away mercenaries. Okay. Fine then. Kill these guys. Move them back into München. We're getting 1300 now per month. That's still okay-ish. Uh, I might just have to take the next tech once we are through this. I mean, the institution uh, penalty. Oh, ahead of time. Bonus. That should have gone away though. Yeah, it only should be 25%. Let's do it before we get hit with even steeper penalties for not embracing the Enlightenment. Superior unit types. Royal Mortar is better than our current guns. So let's take that one. I'm not sure why we would really use mortars at this point in time, but okay. I guess that's fine. We're still losing a bunch of money. I could just make Milan into a march. Oh yeah, so they've been basically pushing out their um, their mercenary troops. Pomerania has embraced enlightenment. Switzerland has embraced enlightenment. Now let's have a look. Yeah, they are they're giving us more money, I guess because they are they are better off now. They have still forty thousand manpower, 
They are capable of supporting 48 land units. That's a lot. Yeah, because they have full quantity. That's interesting. Teutonic Order is only able to... Oh, well, they can actually support 61. Holy cow. Grand Army is a march. Um, Teutonic Liberty Desire, same ruling dynasty, royal marriage, placated rulers, paid off all loans. I spent a lot of prestige placating the rulers. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I am still hoping that we will sort of be able to just inherit in all. Um, Bremen is done. We're done improving with Bremen. That's fine. Lüneburg is okay. We might improve with Saxe Launburg now. That might be a good idea. And yeah, I think I can get rid of my other policies. I think I can get rid of my other fighting policies. We can activate them again if we need them. So let's do that. And then, yeah, in terms of breaking alliances, really, we could break with Nassau. I could also just hold on to them until our ruler dies and then break the royal ties. Uh, uh, because then the royal ties break. Netherlands tell us of hot chocolate. The use of cocoa to create a hot beverage is a custom inherited from the American natives. While a new drink caught on quickly in some parts of European society, it has taken some time and large amounts of sugar before it reached a larger acceptance. With that out of the way, however, the demand for chocolate is now steadily increasing in the old world. Plus 40% price of cocoa. Okay, good, nice. Um, yeah, relations improvement. Are we done with Ragusa? Yeah. They really like us now. <laughs> um, let's improve with Tuscany right now. Yeah, the Papal State won't be happy if I if I actually take more land from them, but I have to to satisfy my territorial ambitions. Why are they reducing their troops like that? Oh, they're just they're just building um, normal troops instead of the mercenaries. I get it. Very clever. I'm actually looking to do the same kind of. Um, oh yeah, right. We have no need of new men, so what we could do is we could just flush out mercenaries. That army doesn't have any mercenaries. That army does, so detach the mercenaries. What's our force limit? 205 and we're at 195. So yeah, let's get, let's get rid of these guys. Let's flush them out. And we'll build... How many do you need? 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, let's bring that down. Let's mothball all the forts. Not much else I can do to gain more money here. The inflation is down. The interest is hurting us quite a bit. Mm, I could kick out that one advisor, but yeah, really, it's not making much of a dent. I could stop rooting out the corruption. We still have the unbalanced research that is hurting us there. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just wait. I'll just wait for the money to build another infantry unit now. I mean, getting rid of the mercenaries will slowly help us um, to get more things done. Um, Denmark no longer considers Netherlands as a rival. They now have England. And they have a new monarch. Okay, I guess that's fine. Bring these guys over. France has been discovered while building a spy network. That's not good. Um, so join these. We have eight. We need a bunch more, actually. So just do it here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and we have rebels in Nice, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Milan is able to cope with that. Memmingen has embraced enlightenment. We're done improving with Tuscany, there's not much else we can do there. Um, I could try to improve with the Papal State, um, a little bit at least. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't relish being attacked from them, uh, by them right now. That's not what we need at all. Um, 
you guys, we're gonna upgrade our trust here. I mean, it's good um, doing the whole trust thing with the members of the HRE. Can actually upgrade that quite a bit. Um, these guys do trust me a fair bit as well. And breaking these, breaking these alliances is gonna reduce the trust that the that they have towards me, uh, which would be a shame. Um, how are you looking? Yeah, we're at five. Um, your vassals don't really gain any trust, though. I mean, these guys are trusting me a little bit more. Actually, that might be a good thing. If you vassalize someone after having um, some... Uh, okay, our truce with France has ended. That's gonna be a problem, maybe. Possibly. We'll see how it goes. Um... We still have a bunch of mercenaries? No, wait. Did I build mercenaries? Yeah, I'm so stupid. <sighs> I'm really stupid. I'm sorry. I was trying to get rid of the mercenaries, not build new ones. Man, I'm stupid. <laughs> and I should have been I should have been suspicious when they actually cost 22. That's not the normal cost. Man, I'm getting I'm getting tired here. That's kind of that's kind of a really stupid mistake. That's not something that should have happened at all. <laughs> okay, so let's let's start again. Let's build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. That'll take care of the mercenaries of this unit. And I was wondering why my income kept going down. Oh, now I had to take out another loan, which is shitty, but... Oh well, at least I caught my mistake at some point. We renewed another loan. I might just be able to buy that down, although it is declining steadily. Which is okay, I guess. Ottomans have sabotaged our military recruitment. Crap. Crap, that's bad. That's reducing our... I think that it's it's far too easy to do that. For that to be... Uh, because that's a very important thing. And your rivals are going to do it. And you might have more than one rival. So, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big problem. Okay, let's remove the Bohemian Guard. Send all the guys into Saxony. Okay, so that army is free of mercenaries. That army is free of mercenaries. Nice! We inherited the throne of Eno. Thanks to you, we have inherited the throne of Eno. Charm and beauty are sometimes uh, as effective as cannons. Our leader has died. We now have Ernst von Wittelsbach. Good leadership skills and superior superior tactical knowledge. We have Josef Ferdinand as the heir of the throne. It appears that our heir has now minus 25% chance of heir. He's infertile. That's not great. <laughs> and now we have a bunch of uh, marriage offers again. I'm not sure I want that actually. Might be a better thing to just uh, get out of these alliances. I'm gonna keep the Netherlands because they are kind of important. These guys really like us though. I'm just gonna wait, put up my trust with them a little bit more. Now, we do wanna remarry the Netherlands, that's for certain. Royal marriage over there. Okay, we definitely wanna remarry Aragon. Uh, oh, we have an amazing Empress consort. Okay, and then we want to remarry these guys. I think that's about it. I don't think... Oh, yeah, and uh, these guys we want to marry as well. Royal marriage. Okay, and the others, I don't think I'll bother. I don't think I'll bother to do that. So... Munster. Just waiting. Just waiting for that one favor. A traveling minstrel. Could gain one stability or bring him to court. Um, allow him to go where his heart wishes. Let's get the stability up again. That's kind of nice. Um, and we have another 25,000. Barlin has joined a trade league led by Friesland. Damnation! 
A bunch of modifiers have expired. That one is done. Um, yeah, let's, let's improve relations with Verden again. That's okay. Paper State hasn't attacked me yet, which I consider um, a good thing. Uh, we definitely have to improve relations over here. Um, Austria, yeah, we improved relations a hundred. But now I guess we lost the eased tensions um, thing, so things are looking very much worse than they did before the death of the previous emperor. So we really have to work on uh, not getting in a in a war there. <laughs> well. Actually, let's stop with Switzerland. Let's try to get these guys out first. Um, oh yeah, and I have I have these people over here. So let's get rid of you. I don't want any more mercenaries. Goodbye. But I can definitely use the other troops. That's for certain. Um, what are you doing? Yeah, I could just get rid of... What do we have in here? Six. Um, six infantry. So one, two... That's about the 21 that we need, and then we're gonna get rid of another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these guys can go. Goodbye. And then we're gonna join this army down there. Um, not sure that we need the cavalry though. That might not be necessary. Let's get rid of the cavalry. We don't need these dragoons. But the cannon I'm going to keep, because I actually want to bring up all these um, armies to at least 16 cannons, so that we get the plus 4 bonus whenever we uh, attack people. Okay, we're done here with the Papal State. Now, Styria is also looking very bad. Because now the aggressive expansion is really catching up to us. Let's try to maybe mitigate that one. Yeah, we might not quite be able to, to do that. Um, people are also very pissed now. Only 24 pinces are for it. Now what I could do is I could bestow the Imperial Grace. Mm, but we could also just wait until stuff ticks down. Uh, we have minus 20% 20, 20 improved relations. That's pretty bad. I actually would like him to die like right away. So I'm going to make a leader out of our Emperor. Um, where's the leader? Yeah, over here. Yeah, all right. All right. Not great. Not bad. Okay. Um, right, we've got 22,000 men over here. I'm going to get rid of 1,000 men. And then we'll also build... I don't know. Let's, let's see how many mercenaries we have in here. 20,000. Okay, let's get rid of them. And let's start building 20 line infantry there, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5, and then we got 10, 15, 20, that does it. really have to try and get our relations with these people up. Very bad that we lost the, the eased um, tensions thing. We're done with Styria. Maybe we can influence them in some other way. I really don't want to get on their bad side now that they are the master of um, Hungary. Let's do this. Okay, that's something. They're still, they're still outraged. But we might be able to swing something. I can make states out of Picardy. Yeah, I guess I should. I'm going to make it a state. And I don't have to core them because I already get, have cores in there. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, we're we'll paying upkeep for these. Paying upkeep for these. Um, do we have a fort in here? No, we don't. And no fort in here. So we have these two. Yeah, I guess that's a necessary evil, having those two. Those two forts. We lost a state in the Empire, which is not great. 38 member states now. Um, nothing nothing I can do really there. So it's a bit of a shame. And we have estates that demand control. You want at least 15% 15, 15 
So I guess I have to give away one of these places. They still have autonomy, don't they? Uh, where's the... What's the local autonomy? No, they don't have any autonomy there. Do I have anywhere where we have autonomy? Let's have a look at the estates. Um, no autonomy over here. That place still has autonomy, Canton. Ah, because it, it is already um, given out to the nobility. So what do we need? We need 1.1%. So I guess I'm going to just give them Neuhäusl. Clergy, you're going to gain Neuhäusl. Yes, why not? Be satisfied. Okay, that's good. That did something. It also pushed up their influence, which is not great, but oh well. I'm going to call a diet here to make these guys happy. And it's also going to increase my manpower recovery speed. The clergy, I'm going to seek the support of the clergy here. And these guys, yeah, not much I can do there. California has been discovered building a spy network. That is disappointing. I wonder why these colonial nations are working against me. I really didn't do anything to them. Well, I guess they don't trust me anymore. Um, let's bring up the trust with Münster. And then we're actually going to dissolve this alliance, which is going to reduce the trust. Well, not really, actually. Interesting. Has cancelled the right to military access. They are pretty pissed. Forced us to return land, broke alliance. Well, what can you do? And then we got these guys. We're going to wait until we can upgrade our trust with each of these guys one more time before we actually get rid of them. I'm going to improve these, um, uh, the trust with these guys. Um, does the trust with everyone go down once you break an alliance? No, it doesn't look like it. So that's fine. Hungary has embraced enlightenment. They're still in a in a personal union, though. Yes, they are. They just want to build a university. I get it. Why not? Okay, all these troops are done now, I guess. Now we're still waiting for one more troop. I thought. Get over there, guys. Come on. Chop, chop. Okay, join them. Just one more unit here. Okay, Genoa has entered into a coalition. That's not good. Yeah, I actually haven't been improving relations with Genoa at all. I don't want people to join a coalition against me. I mean, Genoa alone is not a problem, but if other people join that coalition, I'm going to look like a proper fool. Um, Baden needs some love, so go and improve relations. We have we have done a big land grab, make no mistake, taking all these Italian lands. Um, huge amount of development could be a definite problem. Um, we have nine of six. Could still get rid of some of these relations. I wonder when uh, Nasser will actually take over to 10 favors. Going to be interesting to see that. We're not allied with you. Seven um, over here. These guys are at six. These guys are at 88, so they still really love me. They would like to go for another alliance. I'm not going to do it, though. I got to get rid of um, diplomatic relations because maybe I can swing something with Muscovy here. Royal marriage. Yeah, still too many diplomatic relations, so we have to go down. But we might have some common interests. They hate Poland. And uh, I hate Poland, so we have enemy of enemy there. Uh, we also have the same dynasty and some improved relations. It's not impossible that we could actually swing that. If we get rid of the um, of the relations that we have too, too much of, we might be able to change their attitude. Especially if we can pull off a... Oh, nice, we gained 50 military power. Especially if we can pull off a royal marriage. We are moving toward the point where we could actually revoke the privilege. Uh, 47.71 Truce with Tuscany has ended and Tuscany is in the um, uh, in the coalition that's not good but uh, it could be worse it could be worse let's try to improve with Tuscany again let's try to get them out of it um, can I send you a gift? I could yeah it's not going to do much here could influence them for 500 though i'm not sure that's the right way to go let's just um stay with the cheaper improved relations for now try to get them out of there peaceful if we can let's repay that loan 
Um, so this army, no mercenaries. This army, no mercenaries. This army has no mercenaries. That's good. So now we only have to get rid of the mercenaries in this thing. Um, there are 19 mercenaries in there. And then we have 14 mercenaries over here. And then we'll be rid of the mercenaries, which is going to improve our income quite a bit, I hope. So things are getting back to getting back to normal. We will try to do our utmost in terms of diplomatic stuff um, before we try to pass the revoke the privilege. Yeah. I mean, we could just conquer the ones that are not with us, but I'd rather just get them diplomatically with the imperial reform. We'll do that next time, though. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's still a couple of episodes to go. I hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.